Namaste. I'm Dr. Robert. And today on Five-ish Minutes with Dr. Robert, my subject is fire. The Vedic religion is a religion of fire, and fire has been part of the experience of Homo sapiens sapiens ever since the beginning of our species, because fire was harnessed by a previous species at least a million and quite possibly a million and a half years ago. So ever since that time, hominids have been associated with fire. Fire has done a lot for us. It has provided us uh, the ability to stay awake at night uh, without having to worry so much about predators. Fire has allowed us to increase the number of foods and the variety of foods that we can eat because it does much of our digestion for us externally instead of forcing us to chew extra and digest extra on the inside. Um, and fire has particularly acted as a focus around which we as uh, individuals and in the groups in which we find ourselves around which we can gather and share stories, uh, share experiences, and bond together. Um, I think it's fair to say that we have become a very visual species, sight is our most powerful sense, because of our relationship with fire, that we have co-evolved with fire to be so visual and to focus so much on light and on form. Form is in fact the subtle element of fire the tanmatra rupa. So having a regular intake of forms, and if you've ever stared at a fire, you will know that um, the fire is always creating new and unpredictable forms. Having a regular intake of forms is something that is natural to the human being. Up until very recently, everyone had an open fire in their home and they spent a lot of time in the context of that fire. It's only in the very, very recently that we have been able to not depend on having open fires in our homes. And even though many of us still have fireplaces, they are not burning 24 hours a day. But that demand on the part of our physiology and neurology for a regular intake of forms has to be met in some way. And uh, for the past 60 or 70 years, Television has been an important part of that, and in the past uh, 10 or 20 years, we have moved in the direction of screens. And now people are quite screen addicted all over the world, and we're addicted to screens because we are taking in those forms that we would otherwise have gotten from the fire. There are a number of reasons why this is not as desirable as getting forms directly from the fire. One is that all of these are dead forms, they relate to the past, and all of these forms are forms that have been created by someone else, not being generated by our interaction with the living fire itself. So it is my suggestion that you take some time every day to turn off your screens and put some of the living present tense form of fire into your awareness because it is that living form of fire in the present tense that will assist us to move in the direction of the future tense so that we can visualize the forms that will be necessary for us in the future. Uh, this doesn't necessarily mean that you need to build a fire and sit in front of it. You might be able to get the same effect by doing trataka. Trataka means taking a lamp or a candle, putting it at eye level, at arm's length, and staring at the tip of the flame, the point where the luminescence disappears, where it resolves into lack of form and lack of color. And traditionally they say you should hold your attention there until tears start to come from your eyes. Whether you keep your attention there that long or not, you should spend at least several minutes doing that to maintain that uh, age old connection that we have to the fire element and to promote a healthy internal fire which will encourage the russes in your body to circulate well, be created well, and nourish yourself well uh, in the bargain. This is Dr. Robert wishing you an excellent and very fire positive day. Om. Um.